my name is Wanawit Akubutra. So I'm the Deputy Director of Electronic Transaction Development Agency. It's the newly developed public organization, uh, just only three and a half years. And we take care of the infrastructures like security, standardizations, and the legal frameworks to ensure the electronic transaction in Thailand. Currently, I'm, I'm one of the vice chair, uh, one of the five in the GAC leadership teams. So i responsible for to represent the AP, which comprise of 75 countries, one of the largest uh, groups of the country. And in terms of population, it's also maybe one third of the whole internet uh, user groups altogether because we from Middle East all the way to Australia and China and Japan. And the complexities and diversification of the profile is, is marvelous, I just say, it, it, it challenged. We, we have since the day one, and it, since the beginning of ICANN, but like I said, the early times of the GAC uh, is mainly in the hand of academia, and because we, we just, just start off with the infrastructure, but lately, since the internet become part of everything, business and almost like electricity, I should say. But then on the other hand, we try to look on how Thailand as a country that have our own culture, language, could respond to the one internet, the new technologies, new new initiative of ICANN, like new GTLDs, IDN, the universal acceptance that you can use your local language in the email, email address internationalization. All this is enable to reduce the digital divide that we normally call, because we have 70 million people, and maybe only 20 million people could use the English, or we should say ASCII, types of the characters. Some people don't even know how to spell their name in, in ASCII. But when you open up all these internationalized, I think that, that the most important position when we get into the gaps, that we have to learn on how the other country develop the public policy in the, to promote it. And we like to learn from the other, like, like the Arabic countries or the Chinese and Korea that very far ahead in this utilization of IDN. So this is my eighth ICANN meeting. I do see the, the, the big change in the GAC, how we work together. One is the GAC try to be in the early engagement. We have several working groups working stream that we appoint the GAC who will take who will follow up that and make a brief. That's one of the things that I do see that is changing quite a lot. And I think the secondly is the participation as a chartering organization in CWG, CCWG and the participation from the GAC is something that, that I do see is new. That the GAC try to to involve and, and understand what is changing, what is coming. Internally, there is a lot of change. We, we used to have like a monthly meeting among the GAC or intersessionally, maybe only one or two times between the meeting. Now it's every second week, only, only for the GAC leadership teams, and then every month or almost like two or three times for the whole GAC. And we have to do the briefing and, and to accommodate the, the time zone. So some meeting need to have to conduct at two. So it's become more than a full-time job because you wake up at two o'clock in the morning for the meeting and then next morning you go to work. And one of the key important, no matter it's CWGs or GTLD or IDN, the key point is that people spend maybe a thousand of, of men now working there. I think that, that the things I always respect, the multi-stakeholder approach so I can. We also have a local, uh, Thai community, almost like a multi-stakeholder. Uh, in the beginning, we call Thailand Internet multi-stakeholder. It's comprised mainly on the technical, because in the early stage, when, when I stepped in since Beijing, most of the issue is very complex, DNSX, IPv6, and all this. Uh, you cannot talk to the public general. So in the first two years, I established a strong foundation for multi-stakeholder in technology aspect, academia, CCTLD, all these people. Now we evolve 
we just setting up and we agree on the charter. We change to be a Thai uh, IGF. So we bring in the civil, we bring in other government, we bring in the student. We try to be very proactive on, on how we lay the infrastructure and we communicate to the people. I think first of all, when I discuss with a new country that I try to approach to bring them as a gap, uh, the first thing I said, the difference from my camp to the other fora, we also participate like ITU, APEX, ASEANs, and uh, this is a, the, the working floor. People are come here to work. We not the dialogue floor. So I, I just tell them that then you have to understand the fact that it's difficult in that sense to get in. The problem is, it's become, I always call people, it's become like Hotel California. You can check out any time you like, but you never leave because it become a community. We work together. The first group I met is ALAC, GNSOs, and we just talk among each other. I think this is a community, it's not the community that works. And that's what I'm telling them. It's difficult to get in and difficult to get out because you, you get attached to the communities. And I would say that even if you're not a government, there's still other charter organizations that you can still working. That, that's what I tell them.